still being the tube era in 1951, and it's an era that continued all into the 1960s, brought us a whole number of revolutions in audio. And uh, trying to stay on top of a revolution, you ended up designing stuff a little bit faster than uh, the rest of the competition. And the important part was to make it right, and make it good, and make it affordable, and basically do better than anybody else, and do it first. Those were the early wonderful days of stereo. The other revolutions that happened uh, was of course solid state, PNP and NPN power transistors that you could use in true push-pull, Vacuum tubes were all the same variety. Think of them as uh, N-channel FETs of a thermionic variety. That allowed you to generate true push-pull circuits, single-ended no less to begin with, uh, but push-pull nonetheless. So here I gave you some of the early history. Integrated circuits came later. <laughs> then I tell you what it was. It really was a cardboard box with a lot of lining. And on the inside, there was a line voltage relay with so-called class B contacts, which are normally closed. Well, the power to that relay was uh, supplied through those contacts and as soon as power was applied the relay closed, opened up the contacts and went back again. In simple words the relay chatted and created atrocious amounts of electrical interference. That has a good point because if you have electronic equipment nearby that is operating that is not affected by that electrical noise, you have an advantage. And that was the purpose of it. You better be very careful about using such a box and the time you use it and the length of time you use it because it interferes with just about everything and makes television reception uh, very tough within uh, <laughs> perhaps several hundred feet, because after all, <laughs> equipment is being used and there are all sorts of sources of RF power that can be nearby and some of them are perfectly legitimate, yeah. such as motor switches or ham radio uh, transmitters and so on. And, uh, it should perform. That was a quick and dirty test.